Hey guys, today we have a very special 3rd Battalion 5th Marines Dark Horse Kimber 1911 Custom 2 Pistol. Chambered in 45 ACP, it operates as a hammer-fired single-action auto-loading handgun. With an overall length of 8.7 inches and a height of 5.25 inches, you would expect this full-size handgun to have a large oversized grip. However, compared to the Breda 92 FS, the Kimber 1911's grip circumference is roughly half an inch less than the Breda's. For an idea of the grip circumference, the Glock 17 circumference is about the same as the Kimber 1911's. Constructed of mainly stainless steel, the handgun weighs just under 2.5 pounds unloaded and 2.75 pounds loaded. The standard magazine capacity is 7 rounds, but there are many 10 round options out there, thanks to its simple single stack design. With its age, design, and popularity, you can often find many surplus and even brand new magazines for dirt cheap without sacrificing its reliability. The significance of this handgun, however, isn't just that it's Kimber with its smooth, reliable action, but its history and uniqueness. After 3rd Battalion 5th Marines deployment in 2012, two years after Sangin, Kimber made two commemorative 1911 pistols which the Marines had an option of purchasing, the Custom 2 or the Warrior. At the time, I was cheap and did not want to spend the extra $300 for the Warrior model, so as you can see, I have the Custom. The only differences between the two models are the ambidextrous safety, accessory rail, lanyard loop, and the tritium night sights. Starting with the slide, you can see the eagle, globe, and anchor engraved on the left face, followed by 3.5's model on top, get some, and their call sign on the right, Dark Horse. On the hand grips, you can see the Dark Horse icon, followed by 3.5's emblem, both engraved with a textured finish. Functionality, with a standard 16-pound recoil spring accompanied by its smooth guide rod, plug, bushing, barrel, and overall slide assembly, Cycling the slide proves to be extremely satisfying and somewhat therapeutic. Just watch and listen. Nice. The magwell, since the magazine is a single stack, is slim and can be difficult in speed reloading situations. But this can be minimized by either upgraded magwells or, my favorite, dry fire practice. Recoil. Although the 1911 functions smoothly and comfortably, the recoil of this 45 caliber handgun can be difficult to master. There are many things you can do to mitigate this issue too, such as adjusting your grip, adding a compensator that swaps with your bushing, like this one, or just putting rounds down range. Because of this, I would not recommend this handgun to first time shooters. Maintenance. Maintenance can be difficult for this 1911. After removing the slide lock, then the slide, first we'll have to delatch the bushing by depressing the plug. Then carefully turn the bushing clockwise while maintaining control of the plug. You definitely don't want it to spring up and hit you in the face. Carefully remove the plug, spring, guide rod, and finally the barrel through the front port. As usual, clean the carbon buildup and be sure to lubricate basically everything. Reason being is that every component seems to make contact with something else. But that's pretty much it for the 3rd Battalion 5th Marine Star Course Kimber 1911 Custom 2. Thanks for stopping by.